Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here. Here to review a Audio Multifunction Jump Starter um, product. This is a product that I actually literally use, boy, I would love to say on a daily basis, but let's say more frequently than I would actually um, have liked. I would, I can actually um, state that this product I've actually got my money's worth out of it based on the num numerous jump starts I've actually had to do done a jump start for two other individuals and practically yeah so let's talk about this particular product so as seen here I don't know if you can how clearly you can actually see this it's the ePower 188 which theoretically would have been the most um, nearest most recent model that has had actually been released so the features on the box i don't know if you can see how well you can see this because i'm actually using a chest mounted camera so i can't see what it's actually seeing so jump starter power bank electronics and a torch the torch on it is not incredibly bright but it will definitely help you out of a pickle all right so this is important for me to mention this is for a 12 volt vehicle and not a 24 volt, 24 volt vehicle so it'll start both gas and diesel models but not a 24 volt vehicle um, diesel unless you plan to have two of these in series to these 12 volt models all right let's see this is what the box this side of the box looks like this is what that side of the box looks like it's actually very important for me to mention that all right so, they, so this is where things become pretty interesting on one side you may see the battery capacity being mentioned for the older models as 200 milliamp hours which i haven't I have no way of checking or verifying that right now so starting current of 300 amps peak current at 1500 amps the usb type c output um, 5 volts at 3 amps which i can actually test to this one based on using this to power many numerous um, devices that would have already otherwise been power hungry the beautiful um, thing about this particular des um, design is that it does um, support wireless charging and for recharging uses a usb type c input so let's get to what you are interested in in terms of seeing what's in the box so in the box comes this very wonderful pouch i'll place this box to one side everything so inside this box you have the unit itself in this particular um, protective case you have the charger now this unboxing I, I can't really use the word unboxing on the basis that I've definitely used this multiple times um, before I've had this for what two three months using fine without an issue with no problems and then I remember, oh yeah, I've had this for so long, I have not reviewed it. So guess what? Today, I'm going to review it. So these are the intelligent um, smart clamps. And of course, as it relates to the, these particular clamps, you may, if you've looked at any other review, uh, folks may speak highly about this particular boost button, which is important for me to point out. So in the event that your battery is completely dead or goes um, or is extremely flat, you know, less than eight volts, you simply um, press, um, connect your battery leads, um, press the boost button, and then you hear what sounds like a solenoid inside click, and instantly you'll be getting 16 volts coming out of um, out of this thing. Well, at least it's 16 volts that I've measured coming out using a multimeter with no load on it. Um, these are thick 8 gauge um, wires cabling here which is pretty thick I think they keep them short intentionally by design some very good beefy beefy clamps also too the 
wiring, I don't know how well you can see it popping up on camera, and the wiring goes to both of these clamps. It's it just not a case where it just goes to one side and that's it. So you have the main main lead going into this clamp, and then this clamp has another wire going to the other side. I don't know how well this goes shows on camera. Sorry about that. My camera had blanked out there for a moment. Wasn't entirely sure if it was a battery voltage issue or the battery was running low or again the GoPro Hero 9 just overheated recording at 5k 30 frames per second right so I can't recall what I was saying but what I was saying with this particular unit if you connect the batteries um, if you connect these battery clips um, clamps wrong in a, with the wrong polarity then you get a beep um, annoying beep that you can't ignore and if your battery is low, less than eight volts, you simply press the boost button and 16 volts comes out of this. 16 volts with no load um, will come out of um, this end. Now, as it relates to the device in question. I mean, so this, it comes in this little protective, I guess, anti-static sleeve, which, boy, I just don't actually keep it in that. I just put it back in there for the purpose of this review. This box goes in the bin once we are done with it. So this is the unit itself with the specs again quoted on the back of the unit. Which seems consistent, pretty consistent with what's actually on the box. So these are the ports. So this actually supports where this unit supports wireless charging as I mentioned before wireless charging is on top wireless charging is actually pretty quick considering this is the trusty flashlight on top we refer to it as a torch so we'll not use the word flashlight we'll use the word um, torch so white light comes out here and the two red lights come out of here this is the output which I actually use to charge my drones up quite a bit so I do FPV um, drones and this is the actual backup reason for why I had actually bought this so 15 volts 10 amps that's 150 watts can actually come out of um, this pretty consistent I will use this to charge two or three um, drone batteries from a fully dead or pretty much discharged state of 3.6 volts per cell thereabout so this is so you can use this for whatever you want it to what whatever you want to use this for this is the jumper cable in um, portion in question in which this the moment you plug this in it's intelligent it switches on and it is good and ready to ready to rumble this is the boost button I was telling you about before if you press it you hear it click that's a solenoid letting you know that it's ready to ready to start so once it's on your jump um, battery jumper ter um, terminals just hit the, the boost button and what's interesting is that this boosts um, this actually jump starts my car much faster than not having the main battery connected any at all which is pretty interesting um, so after 30 seconds this will automatically switch back off that's this here however connecting this to even this connected to your 12 volt main 12 volt um, um, ter battery terminals will continue to supply that so this is actually very useful for those of us who like to do automotive flashing to our engine control units we can just use this as a power bank and yeah it maintains the uh, 12 volts they're required to keep our ecus going during the flat during the trippy tricky flashing process all right so now looking at this so this is the main power button which you press it again this comes on and it does wireless charge so press this on top and as you can see 72 percent my phone is being wirelessly charged if i pull this off i don't know if you can see this wireless charging is paused put this back on again 
while the charging resumes. That's that. Um, so this does fast charging um, using the all right, so each manufacturer will have their own variant of it, um, whether you want to call it key or what have you. So wireless charging, fast charging happens um, this way. So this is an, both an input and output port, depending on what your configuration is at that particular point in time. You can plug whatever it is you want to plug into here. Now, the practical reason why I'm going to be 